In this release of NX, we have the ability to create um, assembly constraint with joints. So let's take a look at this particular data set. As we go through using assembly constraint, we can see uh, degrees of freedom movement in each one of these uh, components or sub-assemblies. So now what we want to do is we want to go ahead and take a look at these four different uh, joints that uh, is available. So in this case, we want to select using a hinge. So we want to uh, select a particular cylinder and then uh, grab onto a particular point. Both of those, um, the vector needs to be going the same direction. So we want to go ahead and flip that one and define the uh, location for the second. And then we see that once that is done, once again, selecting a uh, different kind of constraint, such as touch and line, we can move the parts and then see how this is uh, joint um, constraint has uh, behaved. And this concludes our uh, presentation.